I think our conservative movement actually needs to be not just the party of Lincoln, but dare I say, the party of Martin Luther King's message, reviving our conviction in the idea that you get ahead in America not on the color of your skin, but on the content of your character and your contributions. Thank you. This is doable. We get rid of Ameri affirmative action in every sphere of our life. This has been a cancer on our national soul. And mark my words, when the Supreme Court overturns affirmative action in college admissions later this year, we take that movement to every other sphere of American life. And you know what? Affirmative action, <laughs> like most bad things, it actually started. Not a lot of people know this. It actually started with the federal government. It was a Johnson-era executive order. You look it up, 11246 is what it's called. It's designed to be boring sounding. What it says is, if you do business with the federal government, if you're a government contractor, that sounds like a small sector of the US economy, right? You'd be wrong. Google to Boeing to General Motors, over 20% of the US workforce is covered by companies that are government contractors as defined by this executive order. Have to adopt race-based quota systems as a condition for doing business with the U.S. government. You want a trickle-down effect? That is a cultural trickle-down. It has been a cancer on our national soul. But the good news is this is low-hanging fruit. Okay, if we have conservative leaders in this country, and you know, back in Reagan's era, Bush, even Trump, the political calculus of taking a pen and crossing that out, they said that's not a political risk we want to take. If we're really the party of Martin Luther King's message, the movement of Martin Luther King's vision for being judged on the color of your, not on the color of your skin, but the content of your character, that needs to be the first thing we're able to do so that we get rid of it in every other sphere of our lives, getting rid of this de facto racism in American life and reviving excellence in its place. Thank you.